I step up to the mic, gonna make it swing. Feel the rhythm in your bones, let the music. So here's my recipe. This is the ingredients. And here's the recipe. And it's just written out on paper right now because I just jotted it down off the internet. But if I like it, it will be transferred into my grimoire under my cakes and ales. Here is my food magic. And today I'm actually going to be trying to make some bread pudding for the very first time. Here's the bourbon. It's going to have bread pudding with bourbon sauce. I think, I think, I don't know for sure, but I think this is a New Orleans style um, bread pudding. But if I'm wrong, I apologize for that. And here's my bread. I've already dried it out. Ironically, the bread pudding was kind of an answer to French bread when it went stale the next day. But <laughs> bread doesn't stay that long in my house to get stale. So I had to buy some French bread and let it get stale overnight. So it's gotten itself stale overnight. So I have that. And in here, I have apricots. You're supposed to put raisins in it. Let me see, where is it? Raisins, a half a cup of cut up raisins. Soak in bourbon before adding them. So, and look, it says adding nuts or raisins, and I said fruit because <laughs> I don't like raisins. I want to get this going because it's going to be a hot one, and I'm going to have to bake this for like 50 minutes. Um, so let's get going. What I'm going to do is go ahead and take all the extra stuff off of the counter. Right now. I don't need this here just yet. I love aprons. I think that's why I love art <laughs> and baking because you get to wear these really cool aprons. I remember once I was trying to manifest a different job for myself than I do, and I said, my next job is going to need to wear an apron. I didn't really care if that was an artist, a baker, a flower arranger, or whatever, but I knew that I wanted to wear an apron with my next job. So, okay, let's go ahead and start this. Get these soaking. These are my apricots. I think I've already shown you my apricots. I got my apricots instead of raisins. So I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting these up. I step up to the mic, gonna make it swing Feel the rhythm in your bones, let the music sing Got that poppin' beat, gonna make you move Dancing on the floor in the swinging groove Clap your hands now, let the trumpets sound Swinging to the left and swinging to the right No room for worries, just let go and be free When the swinging pops So now comes the fun part I hope this is good I've never had this. I always buy Maker's Mark, but mm -hmm. I got this kind. It smells good. Ooh, I should take a little shot of that. Get me happy in the morning. Um, a third of a cup, but I think I'm going to measure this with my heart. Okay, we got ourselves, we got ourselves some dried apricots rehydrating in a lot of bourbon. Bird up. How much do you think that was out of there? Like probably more like a full cup, you think? It looks like it might have been about a cup. It's okay. It's bourbon bread pudding. It's called bourbon bread pudding for a reason. It calls for one loaf of day-old French bread cut into one-inch cubes. My bread has been sitting out getting stale overnight. And I'm ready to... Start breaking this up. 
into pieces. That's how much I've gotten done. And I'm gonna sit right here. And I'm gonna drink my cappuccino. And I'm gonna break up my bread. Maybe I'll sit here and drink my cappuccino until it kicks in and then I'll break up my bread. This bread pudding is a test run. I'm having some friends over for Maybon and we're gonna meet here and I wanna make them some bread pudding and then and we're gonna have bread pudding and coffee and maybe some mimosas and then we're gonna go drive over, well, okay. We're having mimosas between all of us. So, I mean, one bottle, so like nobody. In fact, I just have to say the person that drives doesn't even drink, so she's gonna be driving. But the reason I wanna do bread pudding is that one of my friends and I go to this adorable tea house um, in Colombia. and we always, always order the bread pudding. And it's pretty pricey, I'll say. And so, um, anyway, I don't know. I just thought for a treat for her and just all my other friends too that are gonna be coming. We're, oh, I forgot to say, we're gonna go drive over to like another um, old town called Placerville. And it's in California as well. And um, it's called Placerville because the, the Placer mines are there. Um, anyway, so. Not so good. So we're gonna go to this little place called the Enchanted Forest. It's a restaurant in Placerville. And we're gonna go there and have lunch and just kind of be together for Maybon. We're gonna go on Saturday. Um, Maybon is actually on Sunday this year. It's on the 22nd, not the 21st, but we all have like Saturday available. So we're all gonna meet here and then we're gonna all drive over. My friend is gonna drive that's not drinking. And um, yeah, so this is, okay. So what I was saying was this is the, a test run for when I make that. And so this is just, I don't know, I'll probably make it, make the bourbon sauce, eat all the bourbon sauce. <laughs> I don't even know why I laughed so hard at that. So, and then what I'll do is I'll probably just take this and put it into little portions and freeze it so that, um, I can just have it when I want it, like bust it out of the freezer or dehydrate it, defrost it. And um, then, you know, then I'll just eat it whenever I want it and I won't have to pay a lot of money for it. So that's kind of my plan for this batch. But my biggest plan for this batch is to see where I go wrong and then fix that for the next batch. That's gonna be in two weeks. So the first thing I'm realizing that, I'm, that where I went wrong is that this bread needs to be cut up before it goes stale. There is no way I'm even gonna use that one. I can go into my mortar and cut. Or that one, look at I'm getting. I don't know, these are just, there's no way I'm even gonna be able to cut those. My thumbs are getting tired. I wonder my mom always had my brother and me do this. Okay, something that I was not prepared for is that I have to have one stick of melted butter. Stay off the table, Luther. You don't get to do that right now. Right now. You don't get to do that ever. Why don't we go outside? Come on. You want to go outside? Come on, let's go outside. Let's go see. Come on. Okay. I don't know why it has to be at room temperature, but I'm worried I'm gonna burn it. So thank goodness Lunar's out. He was trying to get the bread, so I knew it. He tries to help, but he says he's helping, but 
he doesn't really help very much. Okay, the butter is done. So take that off the heat. I've gotten all of my ingredients out and my tools that I'm gonna need. So I have my brown sugar, my granulated sugar, my heavy cream, my cinnamon, my vanilla, my eggs from my neighbor, my neighbor's chicken eggs. I just absolutely love those. And I've set up my little side table because I have a few things that are a little bit too big. So I have my little side table that I pull out when I need it. And so that's my working space. I have my salt right here. So I think what I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna go ahead and measure out two cups of milk and put it in my milk pitcher. Oops, <laughs> I was looking at it, forgot to show it to you. And then I'll just have the pitcher with the two cups of milk already measured out. So when it comes time to put the milk in, I just can put the little pitcher of milk in without having to have the big gallon of milk out. I ahead and I've measured out my milk and I have it in my milk pitcher. So that's ready to go and it's time to go in. And I've been swirling my butter around, trying to get it to room temperature. And I realized why the butter has to be at room temperature because if it's too hot, it'll scramble the eggs. <laughs> I don't know how I know that. Probably from watching the British Bake Off show, but I know that. So we're working on getting that to room temperature. So the recipe says preheat the oven to 350. I don't think I'm gonna do that until um, it's closer to getting done because it's gonna be, it's hot today. And I have my air conditioning going so that it doesn't get too hot in here, but still. Um, so in large bowl, whisk the eggs, four eggs, and the sugars well. Four eggs. These are so fabulous. I just love fresh eggs so much. I'm so grateful that I live in a place where my neighbors are growing food and they have chicken. Okay, so I'm whisking my four eggs. Now it's time to put the sugars in. One and a quarter cup granulated sugar. One, and a quarter, how cute. Okay, so one and a quarter cup. Cream, milk, vanilla, butter, cinnamon, and salt. So hopefully the butter. Two cups of heavy cream. One, two, okay. and then you've already measured out the milk, so we're going to put the milk in. All that's done is this big old tablespoon of vanilla. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, look at that. Yeah. Cinnamon. Got that much, right? Okay, already it's starting to look like something yummy. So I'm gonna have to save my pot for the bourbon sauce that goes on top of all of this. Okay, a legitimate pinch, maybe two pinches. Good, right? I'm gonna wash my hands really, really good because it says to put the bread in and push it down with a um, spoon, but I'm gonna use my hands. I'm gonna take off my ring. This is my mother's ring. So I'm gonna take it off and wash my hands. 
And now the fun time. I'm gonna put the bread into the mixture. Just soak it up, right? Oh yeah. Another good saturating stir. My um, baking dish and I have already greased it, so it's ready to go. So I'm just gonna start loading it up. Okay, rest of the solution gets poured over the top. Mm. So there it is, it's going in the oven. Let's see, 350 degrees for 50 minutes. Okay, my timer's set, it's in the oven. It's doing its thing and now it's time to make the sauce. The sauce is what I'm really excited about, bourbon sauce. The pudding is done. I'm going to take it out of the oven and then I'm going to start the sauce. We've moved the operation over to the stove because we're supposed to melt three tablespoons of butter, unsalted butter, which I've done. Then add the sugars. I'm not sure this saucepan is going to be big enough for the sauce. You know what? Hold on. I'm going to switch out saucepan. Because I had to switch out saucepans, I think I'm going to throw in another little pat of butter just to make up the difference. Getting a wooden spoon. Let's put these in. Look at those chunks, it's horrible. These are all chunky brown sugars. And I whisk this in. Melted butter. buy more vanilla before I make this again. A half a cup or more of the bourbon. So what do we think? Half a cup or more? How about a half a cup? Okay, and then more. How's that? You want it to taste like bourbon, right? Okay, so it's starting to boil. So it says to go ahead, keep stirring and boil it for one minute. So now I turn off the heat, but I keep it on the stove, stirring until it cools. So the heat is off. I boiled it and I've stirred it for one minute. It's still boiling a little bit, but the heat is off, so it will eventually slow down and cool off.
like gravy instead of sauce. But let's go ahead, let's try it. Oops, let's try it. It's a good consistency. It smells really good. It's and here's my plum pudding. First time I've ever made it, so I'm gonna take it over to the table with my notes. translucent but I did notice right away that it was a little bit opaque and I think that that might be a problem just in terms of maybe I didn't cook it long enough you know if you know what makes sauces turn like transparent -y, let me know so here we go let's taste it well it's gooey so that's good And I know birth pudding is supposed to be sweet, but I almost think it's too sweet. The bourbon is very boozy. When I put in a little extra or a plus more or whatever it said, note, I'll put a note, just maybe stick with the third cup, half a cup. A half a cup is a lot now that I think of it. I can taste the apricots in there that's really good I think I just got like a little hint of apricot we're not gonna put any more bourbon than it calls for because the bread pudding is good and if you remember I did put the leftover bourbon from soaking the apricots in with the bread pudding and that's really good the bread pudding is really good. Like it would probably be okay by itself. And honestly, the thing that I was super excited about was the sauce because, excuse me, I just do need to have a little sip. It's very rich. Oh, this I think it's good. I think it turned out great. I mean, I'm happy with it. I hope you enjoyed cooking this with me. I wish you were here eating it with me as well. But if you decide to make it, give me a little um, comment in the comments below and let me know how yours turned out. So good. I step up to the mic, gonna make it swing. Feel the rhythm in your bones, let the music sing. Got that pop and